Hi Capricorn, I'm Brenda and I'm here again today to bring you your weekly angel tarot card reading for the week of January the 8th to the 15th, 2018. Happy New Year my friend, welcome to the beautiful year of 2018. I want to thank you for your interest in my channel and for viewing, liking and sharing these videos with your family members and friends. As you know, this is strictly a general reading and every single card for every single day of the week cannot apply to every single person in the universe. But if you'd like clarity, accuracy and answers to any questions, I can give that to you in a private reading. So I welcome you to go up there and press that button and it will take you directly to my website where you can see the services that I offer and how to schedule either a private reading with me or a private Reiki session with me. See you soon. Capricorn, we start our week, and I have to tell you, there have been so many, this is the week of dealing with uh, individuals and doing what's right, making fair and just choices and decisions and legal issues. Monday, you've been given the five of air, which does have to do with situations like that. And I do see that you are being faced, some of you, to make a choice. And if you run in and rush in and jump in, and I talk about this all the time, landing in the quicksand and then trying to figure out how to way to swim yourself out because you didn't think about the consequences or not uh, reviewing everyone's motives when it comes to making this choice they refer to it as an, an unwise choice please learn what you can from this situation and take your time when you have this choice to make and think about all your options and and put it all out on the table before you make it, that choice on Tuesday, Capricorn, you've been given a water card, the relationship card, and this is the Eight of Water. And this, this can be an intimate relationship or this cannot be an intimate relationship. It can be um, a relationship that's a friendship relationship, um, an acquaintance relationship with someone at work that you've got involved in. But anyway, regardless of that, I do see some of you have reached a point with this relationship that you want to move forward, you want to move on. Um, you're feeling uh, the desire to move on and you're searching for something more meaningful that you don't feel you're getting from this relationship now. So when you do move on, it's going to be like a spiritual and emotional um, growth for you. So um, please know that the divine sources that be are sending you that message that um, it's better to move forward uh, and move on. Ace of Fire, crowning your week on Wednesday. And aces are the beginnings of all things in all suits. And this fire card talks about self-development. It talks about, um, uh, it's all about your creative uh, juices, uh, setting them forward, and also about doing things and taking risks and going places you normally wouldn't go. But it's basically about personal self-development. Anyway, this is telling me there's a new opportunity coming into you. And some of you, I do see it as a relationship opportunity that's coming into you and that you need to consider this and work towards a positive goal with this. Others, I do see it has to do with uh, business. It has to do with a career advancement. Some of you will now, you've been working very, very hard and you're going to be offered uh, something to, um, to create a better uh, walk on your path at your place of employment. It is advancement. They talk about it. And when it comes in, my friend, it's going to change your life right here and now. The star. Wonderful card. <clears throat> this is a major card. This is for Thursday. And this is all about things improving. Happy times. This is all about making positive and optimistic long-term plans now. Things are starting to improve for you on your path. Know that you are right where you want to be. You are on the right path. The choices and decisions that you've made up to this point to be where you are, 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 are have all been right. So please stay on your path. Put your head down and your nose down and stay on the path. This is all about happy times coming into you. I love this star card. So it's all about you being able to believe in your own dreams as well. And um, looking at your, at your, at your, um, your future with more of an optimistic um, look upon it, a brighter future before you. Um, have faith in your new prosperous beginning. Um, on your path because you belong you belong there you've worked hard for it life experience another major card for Friday and this is all about something that's uh, possibly happened to some of you and it was like a wake-up call and um, it made some life changes it shows me a significant life event has occurred and it was like a powerful revelation that led to change for some of you 
Um, know that it was good and it's time for you to spread your wings now. Even if you're going solo, know that you're going to be able to do this. It's, it was like a moment of freedom and an awakening. So it's going to allow you to follow your own heart's desires and your own intuition. Um, time's running out. This is about rapid changes coming in on your path. So embrace those changes. On Saturday, you have been given an Earth card. Capricorn, and this is the Ten of Earth. And Earth cards have to do with the material part of our lives, and that often involves careers and our jobs and our professions and how we bring that abundance and uh, finances into our life. But it can have to do with our personal life, our closest circle, which is our family or people that we consider close enough to bring into our fold, our tribe, and our family. This tells me that some of you, and this has been coming up an awful lot, this card, uh, which is wonderful, that some of you are enjoying the, the benefits and worked hard towards a personal family life. Others, I see that you are in a comfortable place financially. You're quite happy and comfortable. But what this card signifies and what it cautions and what it advises you to do and, and, and the divine sources that be say that you still need to find the magic in the little things. The, you've worked hard for where you are. Uh, but please know, take yourself back to when uh, things were a lot more modest and uh, a lot more lean, and as I would call the hungry years, what did you do then that brought you your joy and happiness? Think back how simple that would be. Queen of Air. This has been coming up an awful lot too for the end of the week on Sunday. This is all about you clearing out what doesn't serve you anymore. And that can have to do with uh, projects, situations in your life, uh, energy around you. Perhaps the energy has not has been rather toxic and not so positive. Uh, you're clearing that away. You're, you're just getting rid of it. I don't want this anymore. You're not allowing the drama of other people to influence your happiness and determine uh, what you should feel like and how you should walk your personal path. So uh, some of you, it may be uh, material things. You're as simple as going in your closet and cleaning it out and uh, decluttering and wanting to minimalize your space around you uh, and giving that to goodwill. So I do see this as a charitable act. I do th see this as a positive move on your path to do that. Get rid of what doesn't serve you anymore. This is your life. And you need to live it the way you choose to live it. So you're going to do this. And again, I'm going to do this because that's how you're going to feel after you've done this. And you're going to just have this tremendous weight lifted off your shoulder. And you're going to say, why didn't I do this a long time ago? It feels so good. And, it, and it's the right thing to do for you. At the end of the reading, Capricorn, I did incorporate one Ascended Masters card for you, the Oracle card. And this talks about a father a husband, a brother, or a son. And sometimes it can have to do with uh, issues that you're having with one of these individuals, or perhaps all of the above, for some of you. And it is a time of forgiveness. I do see that you've had some difficult times, some of you, with one of these men, and that it's time now to, um, I just saw them pass the, uh, the, the, you know, the olive leaf across the table for forgiveness and a truce. So uh, it can have to do with making amends with one of these individuals in your life that you've had difficulty with. Uh, you see others that maybe one of these men has passed on to the other side of the spirit world and they're around you. They step forward and they leave you little signs to let you know they're still here with you and that they still carry that love they've had for you all along. Find the peace in that. It will bring you comfort knowing that they're there. If you've been noticing signs and things going on that, you know, remind you of that individual, you know, constantly coming up, you know, to remind you of them, know that that is them stepping forward to send you their love and let you know they're, they're present with you and to comfort you. I wish you a great remainder to today, Capricorn. And again, a wonderful, optimistic week to look forward in this beautiful, brand new January 2018. And again, I want you to know that I continue to stand in that circle of light for you. See you again soon, my friend.